What is up everyone? As you can tell, I am back at the shop, back in America, fresh home from Ireland. I got in last night. Uh, I am so exhausted. And so today, I'm gonna start off by getting us back in the flow of things by doing like a update video or kind of showing some things off because we have some big plans coming up and we got a lot of stuff done when I was actually gone. I'm excited to show you guys. So please stick around, it's gonna be good. But all I have to say was Ireland was amazing. It was everything I needed. It was just so cool. It was so inspiring and everyone was so awesome. I have to give a huge shout out to Dave from Drift Games. He was the best host ever. He made it so enjoyable, uh, showed me so many things and I can't thank him enough. So please guys, go hop on the next Drift Games video and say thank you for me. It would really mean a lot. But now we're gonna go check out what the boys got done because I did this thing when I was gone. It was probably the best thing I ever did. I hit up Spoon I said, hey Spoon, there's a bunch of, bunch of stuff I need to get done that have been being pushed off forever. I need your help to get it done while I'm gone so I can come back, hitting the ground running. <laughs> What's up, baby? <laughs> <You Jim's home. laughs> and so, as you can imagine, um, we spend so much time on camera, we don't have enough time to actually get the things done that we need to get done off camera that's not enjoyable to shoot. So stuff ends up being pushed off and there's a lot of small stuff that drives me nuts and well, the boys killed it this week. So let's hop in the shop, see what they got done and give you some updates on everyone else's stuff too because Brian took the whole week off to get to work on his BMW. So let's go see what the boys got done. All right, I have no rhyme to reason here. I'm just gonna start pointing at stuff and talking about it. But best thing ever, I came home to the shop and it was so clean. Coming home, it's like coming home with your bed made. It's like the best feeling ever, so. Boys, we're doing an update video. What's up, man? Steve we're update? Back. Steve update, Steve's here, Steve's alive and well, if you were wondering. How's the Cedric? Seti is doing great, thriving, rolling, cruising, a boat. Spoon? Shut up. What's up? You're, you're a proper Oaks Garage boy now. Am I? I mean, you've been here you for like two weeks. Yeah. A week and a half. Indoctrinated, he's drank the juice. Am I moving in? I don't know. <laughs> Me and Spoon still gotta talk, but. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a lot going on. The shop looks amazing right now. This is like the greatest thing to ever come home to. And uh, I'm, I'm going to start off with Brian because this is a big deal. Because we've all been waiting for this update for a very long time. As you can see, the V8 is now in this poor little BMW. <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? Glad you're back. Mm-hmm, me too. We're here. That's it. Working. Working. You want to give the update? Um... I took the week off from work last week. I and love that. What'd you have vacation time you needed to kill? I had to burn it. Yeah. So I took that. the week off and didn't have any vacation plans, so I figured I'd come work on my car. What a car guy ass thing. Like, oh, I'm going to take vacation days work on my car. Yeah, it's been, uh, I haven't taken a week off from working on cars in two years straight. So ten, take ten, a week ten off. years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's been actually 10 years. Because when you take a week off, you didn't take the week off. Take a week off so I can work on a car. Well, we're all saying thank you right now. I mean, I'm, I'm saying. So engines fully back together. With, yeah, I think you just finished up the accessories now, which is sick. Can't wait to see a belt on that. Uh, drivetrain's hooked up, right? Drivetrain is uh, hooked. Well, there's no drive shaft in it. No, oh, you could have lied to me. Honesty is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> so Ryan is changing up a few things from his previous setup. So it's going to take a little bit longer than just kind of like plugging stuff in right now, uh, just because we, we learned some things pretty quickly with his old setup that needed to be changed. So I wish it was going to be like started tomorrow, but to make sure that there is not even a doubt of reliability in the future, Brian is taking extra steps, so it's worth the wait. Yeah, also I can't afford to get another one of these engines again. So I'm gonna take my time and make sure this thing is right, right. Oh, but it's gonna be so freaking good. It's, I mean, it's gonna be sick, you know, like, 77 to 8,000 RPM LS. With your, it's gonna rev so fast too. Yeah. Get the little fire. No, out. it's gonna be, it's gonna be like a light switch, but, um, that's what's gonna be fun, you know. A lot of people, like a lot of LS swaps, are just like straight G code because no matter where mm -hmm. you are in the RPM. RPM range, there's plenty of power. This is gonna be a little different. Like the cam is so big that it's lacking a little bit of torque we'll down low. It. But so now, RIP to Brian's bank account when he has to spend so much money on tires and oil changes. This thing's probably gonna hold like 13 or 14 quarts. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, there's a million and a half other cars to talk about. Steve, come help me film this real quick. I need Steven Spoon. You're my co-host for today. So where do you want to start? We're going to start in this corner, these Go cars the right here. So um, we killed the fan relay. We killed the fan relays at Lime Rock. Uh, spoon threw a new relay kit in it. Wiring special Wiring special teams. Uh, relay kit. It's really beefy. It's really gangster. Mm -hmm. Grab it. There's no questions with it. Oil change done. Boat check done. 
Drift course. Coop's good. Coop's good. Good Coop's great. Ready for the stack. Staggered. Yeah, Staggered. Staggered Auto Show this Sunday, Thompson Motor Speedway. Google it. Pull up. Pull up. It's going to be Steve's DJing. St you're DJing? I'm DJing. Steve's DJing. All the boys are going to be there. Ant and DJ might bail because they're Ant and DJ and they always bail. But Brian will be there. I'll be there. Spoon will probably be there. Spoon's definitely Spoon's coming, there. yeah. Eddie will be there. Eddie will be there. Please pull up. It'll be a blast. And we're doing a little drift demo. And bringing on to the next thing, the Sonda. Spoon threw the front, front end back on because the front end's been off forever. It's a and car. It, and it looks like a car, okay? As I'm pretty sure I'm the first person I've washed it since you've owned it. I, yeah, I don't know if I've ever washed this car, but I'm he- I'm pretty sure you've never had it. Yeah, probably not. So, uh, Nissan's good right now. You guys remember with Nissan, we kind of maxed out the fuel system and that's like the limiting factor, but this transmission's glass anyway, so it's not really worth turning the power up other than just to like make a big clickbait title. Mm -hmm. And the thing feels ridiculous at this power level. So I'm thinking, we finally take the damn thing out because we keep having all these track days and it's all like big track days so i haven't wanted to take this Honda out but it's a this demo a chill 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 track it's a day chill chill, chill track, track day, day at Zagard auto show top motor speedway mm -hmm. so we might take this Honda out i think it's a perfect track for it i think it's yeah. a good idea so if you guys so i don't know saying it online is gonna make me hold myself to it so uh see this Honda staggered auto show show up so moving on to another drift car the 350z this thing has been this thing's amazing right it's mm -hmm. the seat time car we've been talking about it was so much fun in florida but it needed an overhaul right mm -hmm. it needed a bunch of random little stuff it needed a radiator all supporting parts around it uh it needed a new clutch mm -hmm. it needed a brake master cylinder it needed new rear calipers it's just a list of stuff that's not fun to film but which needed to get done and while it's gone spoon this is your first real drive clutch yes i love that spoon's a big front wheel drive guy Mm -hmm. All-wheel drive guy, whatever. You got big Honda guy. Big, big Honda, Honda guy. guy. So, May have heard of him. <laughs> Spoon and Ant banged out the clutch on this thing. Uh, all the goodies. So this thing's ready to drift. So I might let Brian drive this thing at the auto show so I could just take my coupe and just keep smashing into it. Because if it's my car... It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. Right? This thing needs to get a little rundown anyways, right? Yeah, it needs a shakedown because I might do Drift Leak. Which would be really sick, right? right. So we're going to let Brian take this thing and we're just going to put on a good show. So... Staggered Auto Show this weekend, this Sunday. Pull up. up. Pull up. Um, 33 for sale. The 33 is for sale. It's officially for sale now. I got to make an actual like Facebook ad. I'm just dreading it. But as yeah. you guys know, um, R33, if you guys have seen the builds, it's a low miles. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get toned out of here. <laughs> Get toned. Um, GTR seats, GTR cluster, interior is perfect, needs paint, no rust. Uh, RB25 drivetrain, engine has like 40,000 miles on it. It's the healthiest series one ever. Gritty intake, Spectrum Turbo, it's got everything. Just yep. needs paint. So I think I have it up for, with stock mirrors on these wheels, 30K OBO. That seems fair, that's what everyone told me to put it up at. So yeah. I just listen to you guys. Talk to them nicely. I don't want to hit, a, I don't need to hit a lick on people. I just want a fair market value for this car. Yeah. And then we'll move on. And honestly, this is a big news. Make me, I might clickbait the video, I'm selling everything, blah, blah, blah. But winter is coming, which means it's build season. And mm. we're trying to build some crazy stuff this winter. And I want to be ahead of the curve for one. So I'm thinking about letting some cars go, which is a big deal for me. Mm -hmm. It's it honestly so stressful. All me you out. crypto millionaires, bang my boy's line. <laughs> right, okay. right, right, right. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to think about it. And I might actually let the Zanke go. Um, I love that car. It owes me nothing. But that's also another reason why I don't mind letting it go because it's just kind of. I don't know. I don't want to sell anything. Like, I wish I could just keep this forever, but I, what, what I'm looking at it now is just potential opportunity. Yeah. Right. And I want to do, I want to just do more and see more and just build more and just drive more. I've gotten the drip. Ireland's screwed me because <laughs> not even Ireland, but this season I've been like, as you guys can notice, I've got like the driver bug back. And there was a really long time, especially like around the time that the E30 got to basically when COVID started, I just was just not into driving. I just wanted to build. And now I'm back to driving. I just want to, I want to drive and it sucks that driving videos do shit but i don't care i just want to do it and yeah. i hope you guys enjoyed the journey with it so um thank you we're gonna put up for thank sale. you for sale don't miss your chance to own Ooh, one of jimmy oaks's s chassis might Brian. be worth something in the future Brian Scott, you got sprayed i break clean myself with the eyeballs you got yeah yeah that's not a first that's Look not a first do so. the eye do the eye uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the safety glasses ready uh. the safety squid <laughs> So, uh, Zanke, I think you're going to sell it. I think you're going to sell it, but um, i got to figure out that amount. So, I'm probably going to put on stock wheels and take the Ganondors off. So, let me know what you guys think this thing's worth. For sure. What do you think it, What do you think we should sell it for? 16 of best offer. 16 of best offer? Not too much. I was thinking 14, 15. It's a got turbo. 
does have a turbo. It's got a fucking turbo. It's a good you car. You can sell these cars for 16 with no turbo. That and is a fact. <laughs> and it's, it's a really nice car. Yeah. The hood doesn't match, but besides that, it's mint. You know what's missing though? What's it missing, Spoon? They don't go up. Oh, the... DJ, the, tell them. They don't need it. So, right. um... Yeah, I'll probably put this thing up for sale. Can I have those Gana doors? You, for the SETI? Yeah. You think they'll they work? Might they might work. They might fit. We got crazy. a couple pairs we could try and fit them on. Word. Um, and, okay, so what else do we got going Chaser. on here? Chaser's just great. It's a great car. Wayne, Still great. trying to find a kit for it. Some wheels. Kind of a pain in the ass, yeah. but we needed wheels for it, right? Because I can't just, you know, lowering it without a kit already kind of bothers me. Yeah. It's going to look dorky, but I've needed wheels. Mm -hmm. And so we had this big discussion before I left about I have like four sets of Blitz faces. I've had them forever, and I just kind of... They got a little tacky as the years have gone on, and I've been kind of like... They played them out a little bit? I've just been kind of putting them in the closet just because like I've had them, and it's been a lot easier to get lips than it has been to get wheels, so I was like, oh, we'll build the Blitz, right? It's right. just like, whatever. So, we have these. Boom. And the lips showed up when I was gone, so Ants we put them together today, and these are 17-inch Blitz. Those are for the chaser? Step, potentially. Potentially, right? Stepped up to an 18. So we got these lips and barrels to three piece .us. Uh, they came in super fast, really good quality. I'm really happy they use like a solid lip here. Mm -hmm. Nice thick aluminum, you know, some of the newer lips, they're getting questionable. Yeah. But these things are stout. This is a really, really nice product. And honestly, the step lip looks really cool. Oh yeah. Like I think most wheel designs look better in a 17 than an 18 because when you stretch them to 18, kind of distorts, right? Kind of distorts. I mean, you're used to 15s and exactly <laughs> this, is a, this is a completely different world for me i forget it. this is all new to spoon but uh i love this but they look awesome so these were honestly specked out to fit the chaser mm -hmm. and i mocked them up on a couple other cars and they look insane so we'll let the universe decide where these end up for sure look at this look at this it's bad steve look how good the step look looks on the 15. She honestly way better than the flat lip she it does right because it's the s15 has so many body lines yeah. And the step lift wheel kind of adds more, adds to it. So when I get tires on this, we'll play that game, but we know it'll look good on the chaser. Okay, so now we have to get back to work. Uh, we know the two big things right now is the S15, and we all know the 8.6. The 8.6 has been needed to be built for a very long time. We put off to the side because we had some issues with some major parts of the uh, build that we were having a really hard time getting. So we kind of pushed out of the corner. We'll save it for the winter time, right? Because it's a big build, but we're gonna, it's a big build, but we're making, we've made a lot, of, I've made a lot of moves when I was gone and we got things into motion and we're gonna get right to it. Of course, right now, the yellow S15 is top priority because we all wanna see this thing on the road. We all wanna hear it. We all wanna hear that VVL crack on the dyno. 9,000 RPM, Jamie, 10? What do we got uh, It's still a shim 10, so we gotta, hold, we gotta hold it back. But right now, it's close. It's real close. But while I was gone, Spoon banged out the intercooler piping. Boom. Love and it. Battery relocation. And the battery relocation, which is fantastic. Honestly, battery relocations is my biggest pet peeve ever because I'm so impatient of a person. I'm like the most patient, in person, patient, in per, impatient person ever. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, but Spoon's very patient and he's very good at what he does. So I um, had him do the battery relocation kit. So we ran the wire to the back and look at it. Can't even see it. He killed it. Not bad for fabricated. It's weird to like kind of let, I've never, besides Brian with bodywork and stuff, I've never actually let someone work on a car for me. It's always just been me. Besides like fab work, right? In terms of like piping and whatever, it's always been me turning all the bolts, running everything. It's cool to find a friend that I could trust to the level of quality that I want and just say, do it and you got it. So I appreciate you spending big time. So he did the intercooler piping. As you guys could tell, I kept the piping pretty small. Um, really, everyone thinks that you need this big, thick intercooler piping. And honestly, uh, with today's tech, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, so we kept the intercooler piping small to keep the volume of the system small so it spools even faster. Yeah. That's it. Why are you wet? Is he wet? A little bit. Maybe DJ sprayed. You sprayed him with the hose, DJ? Yeah, you know he did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Intercooler piping is done, which is huge. So now, since the engine harness showed up while I was gone, yeah, you guys know. We're gonna throw the, probably the next video because I'm eager, we're gonna throw the engine harness in and then hopefully start it. It's got, yeah. yeah? Am I doing exhaust before startup or it doesn't matter? What do you guys think? Do you think we should start it, start it before the exhaust? No. We have, it always sounds like shit with no exhaust. It does. Always. It does. We have the materials to do it. So it okay. doesn't matter. Well, exhaust first. Let's do exhaust first. 
So we're gonna have to go get my table, my welder, my stuff, and bring it. Moving in. Ooh, it's like when she starts leaving her toothbrush there. All of a sudden, <laughs> she takes a couple drawers up, and then you're married. Start disappearing. I mean, come on, stay a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this this one might unfold itself. So we're gonna find out, but it's close. It is really close. But continue on the update because it's update central. So you guys are here, ready to go. T-bone. Looking super building happy. Wheels. Is building wheels. You're good at this. No, I'm not. You're really good at this. You build a lot of wheels. I know. Um, big big weekend for you. No. Yeah. Decent oh, weekend. Big weekend. Yep. You want to tell him why you got a big weekend? What's your show? What's your show? To the dark. Tell my brother in arms now. <laughs> right here. What's up? This one's for <laughs> <laughs> You ready? Yeah. There it is. Ta-da. Ant bought himself a daily driver, finally. Good choice, Ant. It's an E46 CHP, tell them all about it. 04 E46, 330CI mm -hmm. CHP. Remember you had one of those engines? I had one of those. It, mine actually lasted a couple like clutch three, kicks. three of, no, that was, it was like three events. Was it? Yeah, oh. it was good. So if you guys don't know, everyone knows what E46 is, right? So the ZHP is kind of like that. It's American only too. So is it for really? your international viewers, uh, you never got this. Okay, so it's not an M3, but it's a little bit cooler than a typical 330. So, you get a different bumper, yep. right? So it's basically a stock bumper with a little canard on it. Love yeah. that. Uh, it does do a lot, though. Yeah. Okay, so it's not an M3, but it's a little bit cooler than a typical 330. So, you get a different bumper, yep. right? So it's basically a stock bumper with a little canard on it. Love yeah. that. Uh, it does do a lot, though. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah, different valence. It's pretty cool. Valence. Tail lights are different, really. Side skirts are different. Yep. Has like a little bubble to it. Are the headlights different too? The headlights are HID. Huh. It's an M54 with slightly spicier cams. Yes. That's and it. Flywheel. Different flywheel. Lighter? Yes. Cool. Cool. And black interior. The best. Love that. Love that. <laughs> Ant's been uh, daily driving my cars for the last year, so I'm very hyped that he finally got himself a daily driver. <laughs> and it's cool, it's a good car. He has ZHP trim too, which is like a cool block effect. Hmm. Is it carbon? No, but it's just rare. Huh. Steering wheel. Alcantara. Nice. What's your goals, huh? Wheels? Oh, well, well, first off, fix a little suspension issues. That's not an issue. Yeah. Oh. Ball joint, uh, yeah, ball joint. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. Tents. Wheels, BCs. That's it. Daily. Chill. I don't sleep. Simple. He knows. Simple. Proud of you, Tone. Thank you. <laughs> so while we're at the topic, I'm a little... They've been debating potentially selling the Corolla. It's not that I want to because it's such a freaking good car. It just works. We kind of use it as a shop car. AC hits, the heat hits. It's so reliable. It looks cool. It's smooth. <sighs> but I'm just thinking about the winter time and just trying to get the shop a little bit more tamed and just trying to get more money to just pump into other things. So I'm tempted, I'm very tempted. So let me know what you guys think. Oh, it's hard, it's a, such a cool car. Let me know what you guys think, should we sell it? If we do sell it, what should we sell it for? Cause it's just a weird car, I don't even know what it's priced. Oh, it's such a good car, I don't know. But it's like, when do I draw the line? Cause I just wanna keep everything. I want, I, I wanna be able to enjoy everything forever, but there becomes a limit, needs space. It gets a little overwhelming having so many different cars. I don't know. RJ, RJ probably won't let me sell it. Think I should sell the Corolla? No. Yes. That's our Edge. Sell the, the R33, S14, Zanke, and yeah. the Corolla. That's what I'm thinking. See ya. You could sell it if you want. It's your cars at the end of the day. If you sell those three, yeah. what you could get. GTR. What you want. R33 GTR. Bang. Bing, bang, boom. Money stays in the account. Trade. Trade. Nobody's feelings would be hurt if you sell their car, honestly. RJ it's will not be. RJ okay. will be Okay. So. Speaking of RJ, you guys killed it on the drop. As you guys know, right before I left, we did a fresh merch drop, and um, it, it did so well. I, I'm so I like obviously it's sick that we sell a lot of merch, but it's dope when like people like really like the designs. Like that's cool because we put a lot of effort to them. Like we, I know it's like kind of us. So we it's like and we took a, a chance on you know up in the quantities for you guys, and you guys you know you didn't let us down at the end of the day. So that makes us happy in house when we're working on the designs and thinking about it from A to Z and it all comes full circle, you know what I mean? It's like even more motivating for the next one. We have some cool hard products on their way that we're really hyped about. And uh, well, I'll do also have to apologize. It did take 
a little bit longer than we usually do to get him out. Uh, Eddie, unfortunately, got sick, so he was out kind of the whole entire time we were gone, and uh, RJ had some family issues, so um, we actually had Spoon, Stevie, and Ant pack an order. Day. It was, yeah. It was a good day. Shout we out to you a, guys. We packed a lot of those orders. I'm you proud of you guys. Fast. Some of you guys dropped the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were Appreciate looking at the you. orders, and it's impressive. It, like, I don't know, it gave me chills sometimes, like, pulling the slips and being like, damn, they bought every thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, appreciate the hell out of you guys. Best man. subs ever. We ever, always say it. Ever, ever. Nah, it, was a good, it was a good team building thing. We had fun. But now we need to get you the, the, the package by Spoon, package by Steve stamp. Yeah. We were saying we that it. we wanted to write notes to, like, the people that, like, dropped off the biggest bags, but it would have just took too much, too long. But we see you guys spending money, man. Appreciate y'all. We don't take it for granted at all. All right, so we're going we're gonna to go in the, the corner, right? So... Cookie, we're not going to talk about it. Cookie's good. Cookie's good. But the A6, as you guys know, this... Ireland. This Ireland trip really kind of made me realize I need to stop sleeping on the A6 and get this thing together. But we talked about it. I mean, it's a huge project. It literally needs one of everything. This is like the foundation. We just poured the concrete. Now we got to build a whole house, right? So... Um, that was good. We got... Uh, there's a couple parts of the engine we've been waiting for for a very, very, very long time, which are going to show up soon. So we can get the engine together, which means you can... Start building everything else around it. So uh, I think Spoon's actually excited to work on this one. I am. Uh, it's a good crossover because I'm going to make you work on a K-Series with me, which is your jam, but in a different universe. And I haven't done the H6, so I'm excited. We're going to kill it. But uh, these, we don't touch these. These are good. These are good. So here, all right. So this is the big controversy of the video, right? Mm. I was thinking about saving it for the next video, but we're going to un unleash the madness Right now, right? right now. So, as you guys know, when I went to Ireland, we were drifting. We were doing some crazy level drifting and I was having a really hard time with the right hand drive thing. The spatial awareness, at least in high stress circumstances mm -hmm. and the shifting in the e-brake, just like the combo of it, right? I street drive right hand drive cars all the time, but that's just, that's different. Yeah. It's a whole different experience. You're at a high stress level, things need to happen a lot faster. And so I realized my goal, at least my goal is to, to do more drifting overseas that's right i don't want to do less i want to do a lot more foreign gym's a thing and i would really love to spend more time overseas next year and do some more drifting which means i need to learn how to drift right hand drive mm. and i was thinking i need a right hand drive drift car in the states i know i have so many drift cars you guys are probably sick of me building drift cars but this this especially since i bought got the bug now that's what i want to do i just want to do some more drifting i want to get better i just want to just have a blast and so i was thinking i have the c36 that i never drive because it really doesn't thrill you it doesn't really thrill me yeah and it is so close to being a really good drift car mm -hmm. that i might as well just turn it into a damn drift car because then i'll actually enjoy the car right yeah i've I had this car for a long i've had this car for a long time it means a lot to me it's actually underneath that like besides the outside paint and stuff it's actually an extremely clean car yeah. but i'm sick of not enjoying it and i want to enjoy it so i think we pulled the plug and we're going to convert this thing into a drift car Drift Monster, you got the Chelsea Denofa spec or what? We got the Chelsea spec on what we got to do to make this thing a proper seat time car. And what's good about the BMWs is from factory, there's so many good things about them that it doesn't really take a lot to make them into a really good drift chassis. As you see Spoonies. I'm excited. This one I want to this do yeah. so bad. <laughs> so it's, it's just what I'm going to do, right? I'd rather see this thing. I'd rather see this thing on track and see it sit in the corner any longer. So um, we have the proper drive here. We got all the right parts. What I want to do is we're going to change the turbo because we want something smaller because I would want less peak power with something more aggressive, right? Yeah. So we have the motor that could hold up to all the abuse. What we have to do is we have to tidy up all the loose ends that are just kind of like, not that they're underdone, uh -huh. but they're done properly for a street car. Yeah. We have to get things a little bit more beefy so we can get them ready for a drift car, which is high stakes scenarios, right? Uh, angle kit e-brake different diff and boom it's a weapon that's it what was that roll, roll cage, cage got the interior make it lighter see spoon's already thinking it's a weapon. calculating so i don't know if this is going to be the pro car or whatever i because we still want to do the whole pro car thing it's going to be the predecessor I, to the pro car this race. is going to be like because yeah. your foreign predecessor because it's like i don't i'm not going to take my 180 and turn it it's it costs way too much money to make that 180 a good so drift this car. is going to be that car in between the 13 mm -hmm. which is the fun street car that still gets down mm -hmm. and then the pro car yeah it's going to be the in between so this will be, right. this will be pretty like cool. down here towards the pro car but like Duarte from drift hq is building me that big old <laughs> that juicy <laughs> list big old juicy invoice yeah and uh the boys down at drift hq always get me right and they have all the parts i need to make this thing into a true weapon and we can do it quick like 
Usually to build like a high level car, it takes a long time, but we're gonna get the parts on, we'll do it in like three days. And I actually, if you wanted me to start gutting it, you said no. Yeah, so we're gonna get a cage in. Spoon's a very, very talented uh, cage builder. Is that the term, cage builder? Spoon knows what the hell he's doing. And so we're gonna- You're good hands. I'm in good hands, so I am, I'm just excited to do more, get into more, become a better driver, and just enjoy this damn thing. I mean, it has overs now, things are cut. Boom, boom, bang. Cool wheels. Cool, get some cool wheels on it. We you can't, can't drift these, we can't though. Drift no, no, those are, those are too iconic. You got bucket seats already. I think this car's existence as a drift car is going to trump any existence it had as just like a street car or whatever yeah. you're... It's just going to be yeah. outside so much more. I, I can't wait. Yeah. I, can't, I know I just go, you only build drift cars. I don't care. Drift cars are fun nah, as hell. You don't only build drift cars, but we yeah. are uh, going to sacrifice one of the chassis to be a drift car, so just deal with it. Yeah, I like that. Right? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> nice work. I mean, look at this thing. If you guys don't, okay, I'm sorry. I no, assume no. that a lot of you guys don't know. I don't I just sometimes assume too much and think you guys know everything? But yeah. uh, as you guys know, it's a fully built S50, right? So this thing is a 3.0 liter straight six. This is the European 2J, mm. perfect, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's got a twin disc already in it. It's got a good transmission. The BMW factory arms are unreal. They're untouchable. It already has M3 everything. I'll have M3 axles and M3 trailing arms, M3 front knuckles. It's like the combo you need. It's already on BCs, put an angle kit on it, and it's good. It's good to go. So this is the recipe. It's already cut up for over fenders. I'll, I'll have to hit up some buddies in Poland to get me some gangster kit. Yeah. All right? And then uh, just go from there. Just dial that. Uh, that, yeah. That, the that, ambidextrious. The ambidextrous drifting, so. I think this is a good move for you, Jim. I'm, oh my dude, I, I it's support like, this. I feel like I'm buying a new car. It's right. sick. Like it's like a rebirth. And you already yeah. own it. And I already that, own it. That's yeah. a flex. There's a whole new excitement. A whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've done a lot of talking so far, but as you guys can tell, the guys work their asses off and I am so, so happy and it feels so good to come home to all this and I'm just I'm so excited. So we're gonna continue on with our plans, get as much sun as we can and have fun doing it. That's just what we do down here, right? So I know another drift car build isn't probably the most exciting thing in the world, but we have plans for everything. And if I can get Spoon to be in here with me full time, having someone else that could work at my pace and just having another set of hands would just be amazing. I'll be able to get more stuff done. We could actually get to projects that are a little bit more labor intensive that I've been putting off because there's, you know, there's only one me and it's hard. So. Uh, it's all about making things realistic, right? Because we do have to make content and content, it, it's fast, you know? And there's only 24 hours in a day. So I'm trying my hardest to get all my ducks in a row so we can produce, have a fun and not kill ourselves too much in the process of doing so. I probably missed a bunch of stuff. If you guys have any questions, of course, put it in the comments below. Um, I'm excited to be home and we just got a lot going on. So if you've made it this far in the video, I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, for now, we're gonna end it. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content and well, I'll see you guys very shortly.